Prank calling was one of our favourite things to do. Mate, if you keep calling, I'm going to call the cops on you. Why? <laughs> this tattoo is the ugliest thing I've ever seen. It's a portrait of Kirsty. You're a scumbag. Yeah, we are scumbags. You are, not me. Yeah, this is not a good story. What? This is a bad story. I was only a kid. Uh, what else the fuck are you guys talking about? <laughs> <laughs> This been uh, five minutes. Or five minutes. <laughs> Who wrote the Bible? Uh, I don't know. I don't, don't understand. We can't, you don't get into religious stuff on podcasts. You don't talk about well, religion or politics. I do because no, we don't. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the Kirsty and Jesse podcast. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. We uh, went and had a look at the stats of our <laughs> podcast, and yes. um, we have people have been tuning in. I think uh, we actually hit a, um, a chart. A chart. What At was it one like? point, 135, I think. No, it was 125. To? So we're oh, like the 125. 125th funniest podcast in Australia. At one point, anyway. <laughs> I think it maybe just went there for like 30 minutes maybe, yeah. but we'll take it. <laughs> so thanks for tuning in. Um, last week we were asking the important questions. Do you fold? Do you scrunch? We had lots of answers come in. I'm a scruncher. The results are in. <laughs> What were the results? So I think the verdict was out that most people are folders, yeah? Yeah, I think it was uh, about, what, 66% are folders. You're all sickos. You're all sickos. Told you, it's the only way to do it. It is. It really is. It's not, though, because your finger could literally break through the paper that way. Well, you have enough in place. and. But anyway, I was um, noticing how I used my dunny paper this morning. I'm kind of a bit between. I don't actually just scrunch. I wrap it around my hand. So and then like, scrunch. And then scrunch it. A yeah. Bit. Yeah. So, so I kind of fold because I wrap it around my hand. Like I, I get the dunny roll and I like wrap it around my hand. Yep. And then I take my hand out of the. I can picture what you're yeah. doing. Yes. Yeah. And then it's kind of scrunch. So it's a bit of both. Bit of right. both. Yes. But the results are in. There's about 66% <laughs> f- are folders. Yes. Um, and a lot of people not only mention did they fold or scrunch, but how they have the toilet roll. <laughs> Yeah. Down the wall or over the front? Like, yeah. is it a frullet or is it a mullet? I think it's a frullet. Yeah, definitely. It's got to be a frullet. Yeah. It's easy to grab hold. We, we don't want to turn this podcast <laughs> into just toilet talk, so. No, but one annoying thing about toilet rolls is I can't stand when people put, like, a new toilet roll on top of the old roll. They don't take the old roll off. Yeah, Luckily, you don't do that. That's just flat out lazy. 100%. We have stayed with some people before that have done that and it's yeah. driven me crazy. If you do that, you're on the lazy list. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so luckily you don't do that. But um, we have had a pretty big week apart from that. We've had um, some major renos still going on. If people can see around us watching on YouTube, we keep moving around different parts of the house. It depends on what part's been done. So right now we're sitting in what will be the bathroom. Um, and you might be able to see there's some framing done, but it's Easter now, so we've got a bit of a break. Um, and we're, well, actually, last week we told everyone we we're going to we be. We thought we we're going to be in Tamworth, yes, but we're not very festival. good at scheduling. Dates, scheduling. Um, so we are still here, and at we. Home. But when people listen to this, we will we'll be, be in, in Tamworth. Tamworth. Yeah, we we'll, we just don't really understand <laughs> how long it takes to get it to live. Yes. yes. So we are leaving for Tamworth tomorrow, tomorrow, which will be in the past when people listen to this. Oh, so confusing. So we'll already be in Tamworth. So we kind of have to make out like we're in Tamworth right now for some of the parts because we'll talk about some things that are happening that would have already happened because this will air on a Wednesday. Yep. And it's Saturday here right now. We're, we're recording this. So super confusing. <laughs> yes. We need to pretend for some parts like, oh, today this is what we're doing in Tamworth. Yeah, right. Yeah, so yeah. we're going to so Tamworth. So just play along at home if you're listening. But before all that, it's actually Easter this weekend. It is. Um, Easter Bonnie's coming. Kirstie's favourite time of year. She is oh, obsessed with the This is when I get extra the fat. Hello Easter eggs. I'm so obsessed with Cadbury Hello Easter eggs. I could literally eat them for breakfast, lunch and dinner. And one of the sad things I worked out is each little egg is about 92 calories. So well, it's just like a beer. I guess that's a light beer. 92 calories, so it's just like but drinking I could easily beer. eat 10. Or oh, well, I could easily drink 10 <laughs> beers. So it's the same I thing. I know, but oh, my gosh. If I keep going like that, I'll be an oompa loompa. Yeah. So I've got to try and cut back. But um, as I said, we, we have had a busy week. We've been renoing. Oh, my new album oh, the, came yeah. out. Yeah, so very exciting. The new album come out. Yes. So 
Kirsty and I and our business partner, Perrin, <laughs> have created our own music label, record, record label. label. Yeah, so Rider Records. And we're, yeah, super proud to release Kirsty's first album through that. And it charted really well. So we are Did. big. We got our first number one on our record label. Yes, we got a number one. Um, yeah, so we're big fat record label execs Fat cats. Now. Fat cats. Sitting on the yacht. Yeah, the yacht's yeah, coming. Throwing yep. the hundred dollar notes out the window. <laughs> that's that's the plan. Yeah. Anyway, so um, has been a big week, and it's Easter this weekend, and I got to thinking about Good Friday. I always get a message from my mum every single Good Friday, reminding me not to eat red meat, um, and without fail, every Good Friday, of course, I don't listen and I eat meat. Yes, I didn't. Is it all meat? Like um, I think it's just red meat. Actually, you know what meant about to bacon? Eat. I don't know who. I don't know who makes up these rules. Seriously. So, my family. I think the Bible we, does. <laughs> the Bible does. I don't know. Yeah. There's a reason. Who like, wrote the Bible? Uh, I don't know. I don't, don't understand. We can't, you don't get into religious stuff on podcasts. You don't talk about well, religion or politics. I do because no, we don't. <laughs> anyway. Um, my family is not religious at all, but come Good Friday, my mum will not eat red meat. And as kids, we were forced to either eat fish fingers or fish cakes or fish. And that's probably why I don't eat seafood. I hate seafood. I don't eat any sort of fish. I love it. But, yeah, come Good Friday, I don't even think about it. I just continue my day. But I was taking my drummer back to the airport on Good Friday and we noticed – the McDonald's drive through I've never seen so many people at McDonald's drive through I reckon they must have all been lined up getting their filled fish. Filled fish intake, yeah. They had to have been. Yeah. Because <laughs> I can't imagine they're getting quarter pounders. I can't imagine on Good Friday that it just happened to be extra busy and they're getting burgers. I reckon they're getting their filled of fish. Definitely. That's where the majority of the population gets their fish intake from, I think. So, yes, you can, um, you know, have a baby out of wedlock. You can get divorced. But, yeah, definitely don't eat red meat on Good Friday or you'll go to hell, yeah? I don't know. Is that what, what is that, was, that was meant to happen? I've got no idea. <laughs> I don't know. Um, yes, I don't know much about it. So well, let us know. Do you affect, eat red yeah. meat on Good Friday or not? Yeah, you'll have to let us know. Um, I always thought you were allowed to eat chicken, but apparently you're not allowed to eat chicken either. Oh, really? I like I'm not up on this sort of stuff. It doesn't bother me if people do or don't. Like I don't care. Um, yeah, but I'd be care interesting either. to see if some if he's do or don't. Eat. I reckon the majority of the population wouldn't eat red meat. I reckon most people, even if they're not religious, that's just the way they've been just brought up. So they won't did. they won't yeah. eat raw meat. And us heathens are going to hell. Going to hell. <laughs> <laughs> he told me originally he wouldn't eat a drink when we sat down. I'm like, are you? Do you want a drink? No, I won't need a drink. Yeah. Look at here, yeah. Then I really listened to you and I went and got a drink. It. Yeah. Yeah. So thanks. No worries. The suggestion. <laughs> so last week we were telling everyone about a little white lie that you told to get a bargain on Gumtree. Well, I think I wouldn't be the first person to tell a white lie to get a bargain on Gumtree. Well, no, I don't think you are either. But And that's probably the biggest lie you've ever told because you are someone that literally can't lie. So I'm surprised you actually went through with that lie. Yeah, it's um, just... Um, you yeah. really struggled to lie. Um, and some people can be offended by that because you're just such an honest person. You can't... I think it's only because I've got such a bad memory and I know <laughs> if I lie, it'll, I'll come undone and I won't remember what the lie was Yeah, and I'll come undone somewhere. So I've just learned not to lie. Yeah, unless you want to get a bargain on Gumtree. Yes. That is. But it got me thinking because we've been watching this show called The Dropout. So The Dropout is about, what's her name? Elizabeth Hol Holmes. Is that how you say it? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Elizabeth Holmes. She was that young girl in America, a young woman, I should say. I think she's about our age now maybe. And she created that big medical company. Um, Theranos. Theranos, yep. yes. So let us know if you've seen this show because it's just one of those shows that makes you keep watching and keep watching because she just starts out telling this one little lie, I guess you could say. and Just got too deep into it and had to keep going She just got so deep it. into it. She started this multi-billion dollar company that had so many people on board from presidents and, you know, big CEOs. President advisors and things like that, I think. Yeah. yeah. Um, so it was just crazy to see how one this one little lie – that she told to to get her foot in the door, basically. Yeah. Well, my little white lie nearly turned into that when old mate wanted to come around and um, teach us how to make home brew. Yeah, but luckily your little white lie didn't 
you know, affect people's health. You know, her company yeah. was this machine that did blood tests on people and it was giving, it wasn't giving any results really. They were f- faking the results. So people were getting told they had cancer. Yeah, it's crazy. Whatever. Um, so let us know what's, what's the worst little lie you've told <laughs> that you couldn't get out of. You just got into it too deep that you just couldn't, you know, you couldn't get out of it. You had to keep going with it because um, it's interesting. To see. to see how far they can snowball. That's yeah. probably the biggest example of a white lie. You reckon? It'd have to be. <clears throat> well, I don't know. Yeah, that was a pretty big example. Of maybe we just don't know about them yet. There's probably much bigger ones out there we just don't know about. Maybe, maybe. Maybe. But, yeah, we got hooked on that show. I think there was only eight episodes. We watched them all. Um, so if you haven't seen it yet, jump on. I think it's on Disney maybe um, and watch that. But, yeah, let us know. Hit us up in our DMs. What's the... The worst or the biggest. Well, a lot of the time, people who lie aren't going to admit their lie. Oh, if it's a little white lie, they Look, might. Look, we won't repeat it. Send it to our I, Anonymous. <laughs> yeah. Anonymous. We won't repeat it. Well, we might repeat it, but we won't tell anyone what your name is. Yeah. Okay, we'll say anonymous for next week. <laughs> okay, so a lot of you that have been listening to this podcast have seen um, and heard my dad, Bobby Boucher. He's been doing the ads for us on this podcast. So we, he was here the other day with our builders and he was showing them this lovely tattoo that he has. It's one of the most amazing things I've ever seen. So Bobby has a couple of tattoos um, and one of them just happens to be three of his kids. He's got four kids, but yes. he got two tattoos of the younger kids on one arm. Yes. And then he got cursed on the other and he was going to get... My other brother, Nathan. But after Kirsty's tattoo... He it, never went back to get Nathan's. No. This tattoo is the ugliest thing I've ever seen. It's, it's it, and I have, like if there was a competition, the worst tattoo in the world, <laughs> it would win for sure. It would win. We, he was showing our builders the other day his tattoo. And they the were first in hysterics. Thing, no, but the first thing they said was, who's that? Oh, that's right. That's what <laughs> made it funny, yeah, because they're like, who's that? Yeah. I was standing right next to them. So it's a, a self-portrait it's of- It's a portrait of me. It's a portrait of Kirsty. Yes. And I look like a witch. The Wicked Witch of the West. <laughs> but like a real ugly version ugly version of the Wicked Witch of the West. But Dad goes around showing everyone, saying, this is my beautiful daughter, Kirsty. They yeah. probably think that there's something wrong with me. I don't know. <laughs> like, well, there's something wrong with Dad. It's so anyway, for he's had this since, what, 2007, this tattoo. It's a quite a long time. Yep. So for his birthday that was just recently, we all put in, we got him a voucher for t- to go and get it covered up. Yeah, there's so, no fixing it. I actually, he went and got it fixed up once and it made it look even worse. Yes. So did, the yeah. only option now was to get it completely covered up. Covered. So I'm not, I, all of my brothers, so both my brothers, my sister, my dad, they're covered in tattoos. I'm not a tattoo fan at all. I know you're not really a fan of, I like tattoos, but not on I me. I like tattoos, but not on not me. Not on me. Yeah. So I, they always want tattoo vouchers for Christmas and their mm. birthdays and I always refuse and say, no, you're not getting, I'm not contributing to any more crappy tattoos because they always get really crappy ones. Yeah, yeah. I think there's a few regrets there, there quiet is. regrets. Yes, but in saying that, I happily put in for this tattoo voucher for dad for his birthday <laughs> so we can get rid of this tattoo. So we're going to show you some footage of it throughout this. You'll see, if you're watching on YouTube, you'll see the the you'll actually see, you'll see the old tattoo, and we'll find the picture of what it was based off, just oh to show gosh. how. But anyway, bad he it went is. and got it covered up. So he went and got it covered up, and you know, normally I wouldn't say it's the greatest looking tattoo, but it's so much better than than what was there. So yeah. he now has two fishes, which I've been told is because he's a Pisces. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> it's it's anything's better than what was there. And then so. he's got mine and Nathan's name under it, but yeah. the font's a bit questionable. Oh, well, it's there now. It's done now. <laughs> I think he's happy with it, so that's all that matters. It's standard dodgy tattoo font, but um, it looks much better than what <laughs> it did. Yeah, so it, just to – because you really need to see this tattoo. I like, it, It's really hard to explain how bad well, I'll see and ugly it, it is. see it because people watching will see. So if you're people listening, watching will see, but you'll if, need to go and watch this on YouTube so we'll you can see. post a picture on our socials. So yes. head over to Instagram <laughs> and um, check out the ugly, ugly – Portrait of and Kirsty. give us your photos of your bad tattoos. This is how bad some of the tattoos are in my family. My brother actually won a competition for the worst tattoo that he had. Well, lucky your dad didn't enter. I know. He would have wiped him out of the water. Yeah. I know, but Nathan's had some pretty bad ones as yeah. well. So 
let's see if you can beat the bad tattoos in my family. So l- let us know what your worst tattoo is, if you've got it covered up or if you've still got it and you just hide it. <laughs> Nathan won the competition for the world, like the worst tattoo. The world's worst. <laughs> it, it was up there. Your dad's is the world's worst. To, and he I got think a, it was Cessnock's worst at the time. <laughs> yeah. He got a laser voucher to get it removed, but yeah. he only did a couple of goes at it because it hurt too much. He never went back, so it made it look even worse. So let us know or show us what your worst tattoo is. Are you still, are you still doing bringing Bobby to his dad? I guess. I don't know. Should we? Bring should we Nigel. just bring someone else? Nigel. We should. That'd be funny. Let's bring Nigel. He bring won't Nigel. answer. Yeah, he won't answer. He never answers his phone. But speaking of my family, it's that time where we do the ad for the podcast. The ad. Now, I don't know. If, I reckon we... We try someone else out in the family, not Bobby Boucher this time. We've talked about him this this podcast. We might give him a break. Let's try another family member. He'll actually want to get paid soon, so we better try someone will. else. So let's try my youngest brother. My youngest brother, Nigel, he's very quiet. He's very reserved, doesn't speak too much. So this is totally out of his comfort zone. But we're going to ring him now and get him to do the ad. We're going to try. I don't know if he will. Um, he probably won't answer because he never, never answers. answers my phone calls, ever. Yeah. That's so how what? reserved he is. He doesn't <laughs> even answer phone calls from the family. <laughs> Let's see. But you won't answer. <laughs> Call failed. Call failed. Hello? Hey, mate. What's going on? Nothing. What are you doing? Um, just going to Audi. Going to Audi. What are you getting from Audi? Uh, just some stuff. What stuff? Some lube. Uh, oh, what are we um, going to get lube? Huh? Just going to get oil and stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, you know, have you seen any of our podcasts? Um, I watched a few. What is that? <laughs> oh, because you know how we normally get Dad to do the ad? Yeah. Need you to do it this week. You don't want right now. Yeah. <laughs> hello, mate. You're on, You're alive. Uh, Say hello to everyone hey, at home. <laughs> Good. <laughs> What's going on? Just going yeah, to Audi? Ah, that's good, mate. Shop. <laughs> yeah, shop. So you want to do the ad for us, mate? What's the ad? So you got to say, this podcast is brought to you by me. Me? Me. By, by me? <laughs> me? Me. Like a me cat. <laughs> me cat? <laughs> <laughs> this podcast brought to you by me. Righto. Ready? So what do I say again? They're beautiful and luxurious tapware. They are. This podcast is brought to you by me. Righto. Right. Um, this podcast is brought to you by me. Good job, mate. Well done, mate. Thank <laughs> you. We're surprised you answered, mate. Yeah. No, I always answer. You never answer. Rubbish. Yeah, I do. Righto, yeah, we'll let you get back to uh, Audi then. No. Righto, yeah, mate. See you, mate. Thank you. Love you, bye. Love you, bye. Bye. Oh, he did all right, didn't he? Hey? He did all right. Yeah. It actually did sound like me. Yeah. Me. This podcast is brought to you by me. <laughs> so something else exciting that happened this past week is Ben Affleck and J-Lo got engaged. Okay. Yes. <laughs> did you ever know they were a couple? No. You don't remember Benefa? Benefar? What, what, what are you talking about, Benefar? Back in like the early 2000s. It was uh, Ben and Jen. Oh, uh, maybe I've heard of Ben and Jen. No, I, 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 that's good. I don't know. What, weren't they already together if they're... No. So you, you did say so what? You never knew they were ever together. Ben and Jen rings a bell. Yeah, Ben and... But she seems a lot bit older than him. Is that right? No, I think they're about the same age. Okay. Yeah. So they've been... So, yeah, they got engaged. That's no, well, good. the big thing is they were together, right? Mm. They were the perfect couple back in the early 2000s, but then they separated because they were going to get married, but then there was so much media attention and everything, it sort of ruined their relationship. So they separated, and then they've both been married. Well, I think Jen's been married like three times. Mm. Ben's been married once, um, had kids, whatever, and then they both separated from their <laughs> – you look like you're falling asleep already. Oh, man. Yeah. Is there a <laughs> – They both separated from their partners, and now they've rekindled. They've rekindled, and they're back together. And now the whole world can rejoice and be like, ah. Oh. Yeah, right. They're back together and they're finally getting married. Oh, that's good. That's exciting, eh? I don't know. It's not ex- I don't know. Now yeah. we just need Brad Pitt and Jennifer Aniston to get together. 
Why? <laughs> what do you cares? mean why? Because they're the perfect couple. Okay, it'd be like if Kirsty and Jesse separated now mm. and then we go on and get remarried and have stinking kids or whatever. And then 20 years down the track, we get back together and everyone would be like, oh, they're finally back together. Why would we get busted up in the first place? <laughs> Maybe. There could be lots of media surrounding us because we're just so famous oh, from yeah. this podcast. Heaps famous. This podcast is going to make us so famous. 135 on the charts. <laughs> Look out. Um, no, I've got <clears throat> no interest in that stuff at all. Right. Okay. Well, for those that are interested, I'm with you. I'm interested in it. Um, I can't wait to see the wedding. What? Why? Why? Because it's just interesting. But why? I don't know why. Yeah. Like, why are people interested in our stuff? That's a good point. I don't know. (laughs) But no idea. Speaking of weddings, what was, um, what's their name? Beckham's. Victoria Beckham and what's his name? The husband? David Beckham. Yep. Their kid just got married. He's like 23 or something. and then I was like, how much was it? I did like hear about that one. You had to hear about it from me. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It was nearly $4 million. Who spends $4 million on a wedding? Who has $4 million, let alone spends it on a wedding? Our wedding cost us $5,000. Yeah. Um, yeah, $4 that's silly. $4 million. It wouldn't matter how much money I had. No way. No way. I could be a billionaire and I would not. Spend $4 million on a wedding. Mm-mm. I think they spent like $90,000 on flowers. You want to know what, how much we spent on flowers? Why well, wouldn't got a $12 bouquet yeah. from Woolworths? Yeah. I don't do flowers. I just. They go in the bin. They go in the bin. They die. I don't know. $90,000. Yeah. So Kirstie's never, ever received flowers <clears throat> from me. No one's ever received. I just don't understand the flower thing. No one else thing. better receive flowers from you if I haven't. Yeah, but for like any circumstance i just don't understand they just like actually they die i did get flowers bed. once from you okay but technically they weren't from you because your mum brought them yeah well, obviously it's not from do me. you want to know what the occasion was do you want me to bring it up with oh world? god don't bring please i'd rather you didn't why do you know what it is no you don't remember Oh, why your birthday mom or anniversary or something? No, obviously. why your mum brought me flowers oh, and no. she made out that from you. Hey, I, I just remembered and I did, this is not a good story. What? This is a bad story. I was only a kid. This is the one, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> You're going to make me out of being an asshole, but I need to set up early that I was only a kid. Well, so was I. 16. Kirstie okay, had a I'll car t- accident. Okay, so... We had been together for six months. It was actually right near our six-month anniversary. And my mum and I were in a really bad car accident where we ended up under a semi-trailer, nearly died. I was nearly killed. We, were in, we got rushed to hospital. I was in hospital for a week. Jesse over here didn't come and visit me once in hospital. I didn't know. It was a thing that you did. I don't Your know. Your girlfriend nearly died. In a car accident, you didn't come and visit her once. I didn't know how bad it was. <laughs> I was just a young idiot kid. I just didn't know. But anyway, yeah. when I got out of hospital, he still didn't come and visit me. I went to his house. I didn't have a car. You had the peas. <laughs> how am I meant to get there? You could Walk. have got your mum to drop you off. How did you get anywhere else? How did you get to your friend's house? You. Oh, my gosh. Anyway, I went to his house and his mum had a beautiful bunch of flowers for me and a card that she wrote in it pretending to be Jesse. Yes, and Kirsty never <laughs> lets me forget this story. Never, um, ever. Ever, ever. 17 years later, and it's always a hot topic of conversation <laughs> at dinner parties. You know, how, to bring you it know up. how people say, let it go? My it, motto is, never, never let it go. Never let it go. You know that song, <laughs> let it go? I'm like, never let it go. <laughs> that is your motto, that yes. That is me. So, yes, uh, Kirsty loves bringing that story up and making me feel bad. You're welcome. Um, I don't have any excuses. <laughs> Why I didn't visit you in hospital, I have apologised multiple times. Well, I remember one night you called me and you were, you were out with your mates. Yeah, you're doing like fat laps of Nui, yeah, Newcastle. Right. Yeah. Sounds about right. Yeah. yeah. So you could do that, but yeah. Yeah, anyway. well, I called you. There you go. <coughs> yeah, Something. So sweet. So yeah. sweet. <laughs> um, so, yes, I apologise once again. <laughs> and if you're ever in a car accident, I'll come and visit. <laughs> I'll make sure you're in it with me next time. <laughs> <laughs> so... Um, 
Yes, as much as people think Jesse is such an amazing sweetheart. Who says that? What? I hear people saying that. You saying that people saying that. But they do. The whole of Australia thinks Jesse's Australia's sweetheart. He's really a dog. <laughs> No, luckily he spent the last 17 years making it up to me. Yep, I try my best. Yeah. Anyway, I'll stop making you feel awkward now and we'll change the subject. Please do. <laughs> <laughs> so speaking of Nige, who just did the, the ad for us, everyone in my family are pretty much good sports. They're, and especially when it comes to you, Jess, because you are a massive shit stirrer and you have been stirring my brothers now for – our whole relationship, and I think it comes down to that you grew up with no brothers. You, had you were the three youngest, older sisters. Three older sisters. So, so I never had a brother. Always one on one, and uh, you never had a brother to annoy. So you've definitely made up for it with my brothers. Yeah, especially when Nigel was much younger. <laughs> yes, because when we got together, I think Nigel. How old would Nigel have been? So, well, what is he now? Twenty. He would have been about eight. Yeah, eight or nine years old, or something yeah. like that. And. <laughs> You've been giving him hell ever since. But anyway. I can't now. He's massive. I know. He'll bash you now. now. He'll bash you now. But um, so for a long time there, one of Jesse's favorite things to do, and I would say it's probably one of our favorite things to do still because we're quite immature. Yes. We haven't done it for a long time. That's why we can't have kids. But back in the day, there wasn't much entertainment. So you had to entertain yourself and prank calling was one of our favorite things to do. It was. Oh, my God. We had some good prank calls. But we would prank call people. I say we, it's you. Because when you listen to this, what we're going to play, you can actually hear me. I'm doing the dishes in the background mm. and Jesse's just sitting there prank calling people. Yeah. But the way you did it was it wasn't actually you. You would find like pre-recorded like voices mm. and you would play them on the phone. Yeah. And people would like you would answer and they'd think that someone was having a conversation with them. So you did this to poor Nige one night. So this was a pre-recorded voice. Um, I don't know. Did you just find on the internet or whatever? It was a long time ago and I dug it up and I bet I'd say it was just something I've found on I don't even know where I found it. Yeah, the deep dark web. But anyway, we did it tonight, so we're gonna play it for you now. Hello. 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 Stop using my Wi Fi, okay? Is this? I've been using my Wi Fi. I looked up your IP address and found your phone number. Who is it? Why did your search history appear when I signed in? Explain. I'm not using Wi-Fi, mate. I'm using my data. How'd you even get my password? You a hacker? Who are you, mate? You got the wrong number. I'm not arguing with you. Just stop or I'm going to get the police involved. Mate, I'm not using the Wi-Fi, I swear to God. Why don't you just set up your own damn Wi-Fi? Hello? Hello? This is the Chinese buffet calling. Hello? Hello? This is the Chinese buffet calling. Mate, you got the fucking wrong number. You don't keep going. I'm going to ring the cops, all right? back anymore. All right? your number from credit card info. Not homeless shelter. This is restaurant. You ate all expensive food. You even ate the crab leg. You take so much eat. food, not even eat it all. I throw out full plates. <laughs> Forget. He says he must think it's like... Mate, if you keep calling, I'm going to call the cops on you. Hi. I'm sorry to bother you, but you've been on my mind for about a week now. Sorry, I, I can't been... tell you who I am because I've got a secret crush on you. What? I've seen you around. I love your hair. The way it falls down to your shoulders. I love the way you giggle when someone says something funny. I'm not a big mate, fan of the way you walk, though. It's a bit manly. Mate, we need to mate, change can that. you tell me who you are, please? I just think you're like the coolest chick I've ever met. Look, who are I'm, you? I'm going to reveal who I am tomorrow. I can't stop thinking about you. I'll see you tomorrow at lunch. <laughs> Yeah, so you got to look out for Nigel to call the cops on you if you prank call him. <laughs> I love how serious he gets in one part of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> About stealing his Wi-Fi. Yeah. No one would fall for that these days, I don't think, because there's Wi-Fi everywhere. Yeah, well, it was hard to come by <laughs> back back then, so. You still had the one that plugged into the wall back then, I think. I don't even know. Yeah, God, I can't remember. It definitely wasn't the dial-up, that <laughs> no. horrible noise, but yeah. So, um, 
We'll have to go back through the the prank call files. We, I've got a a big folder of them somewhere. You do. Um, you do. I'll have to try and dig them out. You actually pranked one of my friends once, and poor Shani, she ended up changing like her bank account passwords and everything. Because- That's right. We pranked her, and then <laughs> next day we see a status on Facebook that she's changed her internet banking passwords, passwords and stuff like that. Because someone hacked her. Yeah, or well, she thought someone was going to hack her. Oh because of the God. prank call. You're a scumbag. Yeah, we are scumbags. You are, not me. I'm just the innocent you there. bystander. You would have been there. I'm an innocent bystander. Wing shiny, wing shiny. <laughs> that would have been you, yeah. Okay, so by the time you're listening to this, we are actually at the Tamworth Country Music Festival. So we got here late Sunday night um, because we had to do the Today Show Monday morning. So I've had a busy week so far. And today is an extra busy day as well. Pretty What's special day. So... Kirsty yes. <laughs> uh, has been inducted into the Hands of Fame at Tamworth. Yes. So for people that don't know, that's like the Hollywood Walk of Fame, but the country, country music, music version. version. Um, so it is really a massive honour to get inducted into that. It so. is a massive honour. Um, I've been travelling to Tamworth my whole life. We've been going to the festival every year of my life, um, my family. And every year we would go to the Hands of Fame Park. Us kids would put our hands in there and our favourite country artists. Um, so, yeah, it's a very big honour to have my hand there now and just to think there's going to be some young artists coming yep. and putting their hand in there one day. Um, I've been yeah. going for 17 years and I do the same you, thing. You go up and you put do, your hands yeah. in there. It's cool. It's, um, it's, uh, yeah, you, I don't know, it's a really cool thing to get to have your hand there, I guess. so. It is. So we're going to be going. recording – thank you. We're going to be recording next week's podcast here at the festival. So we thought we were doing – that last week, but we got a bit mixed up with dates because we're hopeless. We've got no idea. Can't schedule. <laughs> yeah. But we will be recording some of the podcast for next week here at the festival. So we've got a big week lined up. Tonight we're going to be presenting an award together at the Golden Guitar Awards, which is really exciting. Yeah. Get to get all doled up. Any chance to get doled up, go to the after party. The after party is probably your favourite part. Definitely. There's a, sometimes there's a pre-party too. <laughs> yeah, there's pre-party yes, and so. after party. So we'll be hitting that up for sure. And there's an after-after party too. There is. We might have some good stories to tell people. Who knows? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. So that's tonight um, and we've got a bunch of other things throughout the week. My main show is on Saturday. So if you're listening to this now, you're thinking about heading up to the Tamworth Country Music Festival, make sure you come to my show. It's on Saturday the 23rd. It's also on a long weekend, so extra reason to come up and just have a great time at Tamworth. But thank you so much for tuning in this week. Let us know what your worst tattoo is. Yes, have <laughs> send, to, it to send us. us a few photos. Let us know what your worst lie is that you've ever told. Yeah, and then uh, we'll we'll compare them to Bobby's tattoo. We will. We'll compare them and see if they're as bad as what Dad's worst Nothing is tattoo. worse than that, I'm telling you. <laughs> but make sure you are you're following us on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, subscribe to our YouTube channel um, and make sure you tune in next week to the Kirsty and Jesse podcast. Thanks, guys. So, yeah, we hit 100 subscribers on our YouTube. Oh, we? oh, we're kind of a big deal, aren't we? Are we? Kind of a big deal. 100 subscribers. Yeah, that's all right. So, thanks for tuning in, everyone. We do appreciate 100 of you. We do. Mm. Mm.